Hello and welcome to another data approved review. This is the unboxing of the Leatherman Skeletal CX. And uh, here on the box you can see I made a mistake. So for those of you ordering off of Leatherman, um, they were having a sale. But if you ever order off of Leatherman, uh, they usually have an option where you can choose the sheath. And in my case it was free. All I had to do was click the sheath and uh, I would have gotten it and uh, unfortunately uh, I just put it, added it to my cart and uh, forgot to add the sheath and so I didn't get it. Uh, but that's okay, uh, I've got another uh, sheath uh, laying around so I can always use that one. Um, so here we have the Leatherman CX, uh, the Skeletool standard and this one, the difference is uh, cost. It's about $20 more, $10, $20 more. But in addition to that, uh, there is the knife steel. Uh, as you can see here, the imprint on it is for the 154CM. And it's a higher quality steel than the standard Skeletool that is uh, uh, the knife blade that comes on it. So the price on this, the retail is $70, and uh, I always, in my reviews, cite the retail price, but I've never paid retail price for any of the uh, products. I usually wait till there's a, a code uh, or promotion or sale or something, um, but here uh, we have uh, the Leatherman Skeletal CX, and it was on sale uh, off the Leatherman website. And I ordered directly through them because I didn't want to worry about you know counterfeit items. And I also know that their warranty is hands down uh, one of the best. So why mess with it, right? Uh, if it costs a little bit more, uh, as long as you're protected, uh, then it's worth it for me. So we've got the uh, cost of around $80. And you've already seen that the distinction between the Leatherman Skeletal and this model is the steel. Uh, if you look here, it's a, it's a great look, right? I mean, it's got a little bit of carbon fiber there. Um, the DLC coating, uh, the black coating here. I don't know how long it will last, meaning I'm going to put my tool to use. And let's see if it gets scuffed up or scratched. And even if it does, quite frankly, I'm okay with it. Tools are meant to be used, right? Not displayed and looked at. So I have this and, um, you know, in my hands... Uh, one of the first things I noticed is the size and it's coming in at around four inches um, And also so you have an understanding and its widest point in the pocket. It's about an inch and a quarter So in terms of the profile if you have this in your pocket, you can still have other items in your pocket uh, It's a little bit more narrow at, up top at around an inch So it widens as it goes down towards the plier which makes sense um, I gotta say the fit and finish is Awesome. It's very smooth to the hand. I thought that there were going to be a lot of points um, that uh, catch on my hand because there's so many moving pieces, and I was I was worried that hey, when I slide this in and my out of my pocket, it's going to catch on the tool. And no, it will not. I can already tell it's a very refined product, very smooth edging, polished, and um, it's really good. I mean, it feels really great in my hand. Um, so we have that, the size, the dimensions. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the knife steel. Now what's great about this is one-handed opening. So you can open it here and it has a lock. Um, you can hear it click into place. Um, the knife blade steel is about 2.6 inches long. And again, the 154 CM, uh, I paid a little bit more for this steel because uh, it's an upgrade over the standard stainless steel. Now 154 CM is not the world's most expensive steel. It's not a super steel. Um, I know that there are a lot of uh, latest and greatest steels out there, but you know what? This is a worker bee, right? This steel performs the way it should. Um, it holds its edge relatively well, but most of all, it's easy to sharpen, right? You compare this to something like the S30V, um, which is uh, costlier and uh, it's on the uh, Leatherman Charge TTI Plus. Um, it's a great steel. The S30V is a great steel, but it's more difficult to sharpen than something like this, the 154 CM. This is a tried and true steel, and it's an everyday steel that uh, is found on a lot of dives, and it's very workable, and it's easy to sharpen, easy to bring to a sharp edge, and, it's, and it actually holds its edge really well. 
um, you know, relative to other types of uh, steels. So it's worth it because on the days that I don't want to carry a knife and a multi-tool, I can just carry this uh, with me. Now, more often times than not, I'm going to have a knife with me, um, but on the days where I just want to travel light or just have one thing, I can just carry this with me. Uh, so that's why I went uh, with the upgraded charge. So we have the uh, steel itself. Um, the multi-tool, um, we can open it up. And uh, you heard the uh, satisfying clicks right there. This is not spring-loaded, but I gotta say the opening close of the, the action of the plier, uh, really good. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. You can feel that it's pretty smooth. Just the overall quality. You know, this frame curves out and uh, you know, it's, it gives me a leverage point with my pinky. Uh, I really like the way that this feels in my hand and the opening close action, top notch. Uh, kudos to Leatherman. I mean, they make outstanding products and this one is no different. Um, so let's get an idea of the supplier size head, right? It's about two inches. I mean, the workable point is about a little over an inch long, um, you know, the mouth of the pliers. Um, and uh, the width of the plier head, let's see here, it's a narrow point. Um, it's a little less than a quarter of an inch, right? So this is not a heavy duty plier, but you know what? It feels pretty substantial. And uh, you know, for the needs that I need, uh, I think it's gonna be great. And you can see how the plier, uh, plier comes to a, they meet, right? At the, right at the end. So you can pinch down on something and, and grip it. Um, pretty good in the hand so far. So in addition to the plier, um, you got the needle nose pliers, you got the multi-plier, you've got the wire cutter in between. And you've got the uh, uh, hard wire cutters, and Leatherman counts those as full four tools, right? So the pliers, the needle nose pliers, the cutter, and then the hard wire cutter, uh, that, those are four tools um, that the Leatherman counts. Uh, in addition, you've got the bottle opener, which is tool number five, um, and, and the carabiner, uh, uh, carabiner if, you, if you need to uh, hook it on anything. Um, you've also got the driver here. And what's great about the driver is that you can depress the button here and it pops out and you can switch the head. But let's say you need more tool bits. Um, outstanding job by Leatherman because they use this little space between the frame um, to insert a tool bit and you can just pop it out and swap it out. How great is that? You know, uh, really nifty thought and I like the fact that they did that. So the only upgrade uh, that I would recommend and I actually purchased for myself uh, is this. I got the extended bit and uh, I want to say I paid about $15 for it off the Leatherman website. Um, the other option that I got with the scale tool is I got the uh, glass breaker tip and this was $5. And for me, um, if you've seen any of my other reviews on the importance of having, having a, a glass breaker tip, um, in case you get into a car accident, uh, I, I consider it an essential item. So that's there. Maybe I will have that tip here at all times and then um, tuck uh, this, uh, the, the actual bit in here for storage. Um, you know, in my cars, it's okay. Uh, in my wife's car, it's okay because I always have it there. But in case I'm commuting or in a, in a friend's car or someone else is driving. Um, so this is also interchangeable with the uh, other Leatherman lines. Uh, the, for example, the Charge TTI Plus, and so uh, I know if I purchase it once, I can use it across um, multiple tools that I have. So, so far, um, this is the unboxing. My initial impressions are very positive. I like the fit, the finish, the feel of it, and you know, uh, it's backed by Leatherman Warranty. I had a comment uh, on one of my other videos, uh, really, really uh, good feedback because uh, he had indicated that he had a wave. Um, and while using it, it broke off uh, the plier and uh, he contacted Leatherman and they sent him a new one, um, no questions asked, you know. And that just it mirrors a lot of what I've heard from my friends and others who own Leatherman products. They take care of their customers. It's a high quality company and that produces high quality products. And that warranty makes me want to invest more into their product line because I know that once I, I spend that money that I'm going to be taken care of. 
so I will report back once I put this uh, through the grinder and, and wear and tear and uh, I'll upload uh, what my thoughts, the pros and cons are with this. So thank you for watching. Please hit like, subscribe and comment if you've got this tool because I want to know uh, what are your thoughts about it and uh, do you use it every day. Thank you very much. I almost forgot to include what it looks like in the pocket. Yeah, the pocket clip on the Skeletool is incredible. Um, so you can see here that barely any of, it, any of it shows when it's carried in the pocket. Lastly, uh, I also wanted to show the bit extender that I ordered. Um, there is a chart showing what tools that it is compatible with. So you can take a look here and see, uh, you know, you got the MUT. You've got the uh, MUT EOD, the Surge, the Charge TTI, the Charge AL, the Charge ALX, the Wave, the Skeletal CX, and the Skeletal. So the bit extender uh, accommodates all these different tools, in case you're wondering. All right, thank you.